This demonstration will illustrate the model optimization concept uh, looking at using synchronous technology, synchronous modeling in the, in the NC programming environment. Um, what we'll do here is, is look at some of the reasons why uh, we might want to make model edits uh, before we do NC work and uh, to show how synchronous modeling techniques can make that very easy to do. Um, you can see we've opened up the uh, the die half model. The, um, the die half setup is the file that we've started with. Uh, this is our master model that we'll be working from. Uh, you can see that we've already gone to the manufacturing application and just to point out the uh, the model edit toolbar here. Uh, the geometry model editing toolbar in the NXCAM application uh, includes several of the pieces that that we'll be using through this demonstration. Um, because we're in a master model concept we have a wavelength, uh, wavelength body here to start with. Um, the wavelengthing capability is available if assembly is turned on. Uh, you can see we, we have points and, and uh, wireframe geometry. Also uh, some, some draft tools are here. Various curve capabilities. Here are the, uh, the patch openings commands are involved in this and we use some of these as well. The synchronous modeling toolbar can be toggled on. You see when we press this button that we get the uh, the toolbar up here in the top. So on and off. And we'll leave that on because we'll need it. And fastening is another piece of the geometry edit toolbar that's available in CAM. So let me just put this back now that we've talked about it. And let's just take a look at what we're trying to do here. Conceptually, the point we're trying to make is that um, it is beneficial to do model edits uh, prior to NC programming. Um, in this case we're looking at some features of this part that will be made by electrodes and uh, since they're going to be made by electrodes there's no sense spending our, our time and energy and computational power trying to fit toolpath to these features uh, because that's not the way we want to make them. We don't want to cut them with our machine tool, we want to burn them with our electrodes and if we can spend a little bit of time doing some model editing that will make the programming go smoother and perhaps even make the toolpath run smoother uh, uh, more trouble free operation on the machine then it'll be worth our time to do it um, frankly in the past a lot of this gets, un, uh, gets left undone because it takes too long to make these kind of changes uh, you don't have the authority to change the model or you don't understand the construction history of the part or you just don't have the modeling skills to take these kind of changes on and we go ahead and we make toolpath over these features and ignore them to the best of our ability and sometimes partially ignore them or uh, you know live with the results and uh, the point to this demonstration is that there's benefit to doing these kinds of edits prior to NC programming and having tools like synchronous modeling make these edits um, easy enough to accomplish that they're worth doing. So that's the setup and uh, basically all we have to do is tell that story as we make these edits. So we're going to begin by doing some of the patch openings. And we have several patch opening choices to use here. There's the quilted patch, there's the mold wizard face patch, an insided area patch, and uh, essentially the quilted patch and the mold wizard patch are the ones that we'll take advantage of here. You select the faces that need to be patched, so um, that one, pick the edges, and you can see that the faces select by uh, continuous tangent conditions and the, uh, the edges select by continuity. And there are several ways to go about this, and some of them um, are quicker than others. You can take your time and show off more tools, or you can get through the 
get through the exercise as quickly as possible depending on how you like to approach it but the uh, these square features here we'd like to get rid of so we'll pick up this face and grab these edges and we can pick up this face and grab this edge and we can pick up these faces and grab these edges so pretty quick to make these kinds of patches um, we actually didn't use the mold wizard patch uh, you can use that one if you like and once our holes are patched uh, we're going to turn our attention towards these little notches in the side if you see these guys these are troublesome little notches and I'm not really sure why they would be in here but here they are in the model and we have to deal with them okay so we're going to use our move face command and we'll pull these faces together here and because of the subtle draft angles on this part, I can't just bring this all the way together. There will be a slight mismatch. So I'm going to bring it most of the way here. And then I'm going to turn around and grab the other face. And bring it towards us to bring them together and because of these subtle draft angles uh, and the breaks here and the edges um, this is the way these these slots get closed up so there's another one on the other side we can do the do the same way and uh, what we'll do here in this case is is basically just reduce the depth of this um, not going to be able to really eliminate it completely because I'd like to mill out some of this but uh, I don't want to get all the way down into the bottom so I'll pick up the bottom face and just move it up to within that edge right there so this won't get completely cleaned up with the end mill but we'll take out uh, we'll take out some of the more heavy material and just leave the narrow little square chunk for the for the electrode the other side has essentially the same parts and we'll close them up in the same way and remember that our our assertion here is that making these kinds of edits will be helpful both when we program this job and when we put it on the machine tool and cut it so it's worth our time to do this if it provides some value as we do the next uh, the next steps in our work and because we can do it so quickly we've spent all of what three minutes now making these edits uh, it's really worth the time to go ahead and do it because they're so easy to do we don't require any knowledge of the construction of this part which is quite complex uh, we don't require any particularly uh, awesome modeling skills to do this uh, we don't really require even the authority to, to, uh, to edit this design part because we're working in a master model here on the uh, on the wavelength geometry so we have made the uh, the model optimization edits that we're interested in now just as an aside before we wrap this up I'm going to show you that this model also has a complete set of toolpath here so um, if you'd like to spend some time looking through the toolpath on this part and uh, and make use of it uh, further you know for further demonstrations uh, that would be fine in fact some of the uh, 
some of the finishing cuts on here you'll be able to see really do work better with these uh, with these patches in place so it's going to wrap up the demo here uh, essentially we're just making the kinds of edits uh, that would be helpful in an opportunity like this and um, and showing just how quick and easy they are to do